Since its introduction in the 1960s, the American M109 155mm turreted self-propelled howitzer has been a key component of the American military's artillery force. Hello and welcome to another video from War Secrets, in which we are going to take a look at the M109 howitzer. It has also been used by several other militaries around the world and is one of the most common of Western indirect fire weapon systems. The M109 has undergone various upgrades over the years and has seen action in several international conflicts over its service life. The M109 is still in use by the US military, and it will most likely do so for a few more years until being replaced by the M1299. The M109 was first developed in 1952 in response to a US Army request for a more mobile, mechanized artillery system capable of keeping up with armored and mechanized formations. The M109 was envisioned as a more mobile artillery weapon than the Army's towed M114 howitzers, as well as a more competent weapon than the M44 self-propelled howitzer. The M109 was designed alongside the M108 105mm artillery system, which was eventually discontinued before the majority of the M108s were upgraded to M109s. The M109 system went into production in 1962 after the prototypes were produced in 1959. The M109 was equipped with 28 rounds of ammunition and was armed with the M126 155mm howitzer. When firing normal, high-explosive rounds, the system had a maximum range of around 14,600 meters, and when using rocket-assisted projectiles, it had a range of over 20,000 meters. The M109 could fire as much as four rounds per minute, but only two shots per minute could be sustained. A secondary M2HB heavy machine gun was installed atop the commander's cupola on the top of the turret, arming the M109. Early M109s had up to 32mm of armor, which was sufficient to protect the vehicle from small arms fire and grenades, but insufficient to protect it from stronger anti-vehicle armament. The M109 is powered by a 450 horsepower Detroit diesel 8V71T engine, which gives it a top speed of 65 km per hour and a maximum range of 390 km. The M109 may also be equipped with a flotation kit for forbidding water obstacles, and it can travel at a maximum amphibious speed of 6.5 km per hour while on the water thanks to its treads. Six people work on the M109, the commander, gunner, driver, and three ammunition members. The hull is built entirely of welded aluminium armor, protecting from small arms fire and shell splinters. The driver sits in the hull's front left corner, with the power pack to the right and the turret to the back. A single-piece hatch cover opens to the left, and three M45 day periscopes are mounted in front of the driver to prevent damage. Little metal flaps can be used to cover them, a passive night vision periscope can be used in place of one of the day periscopes. The back of the hull's all-welded aluminium armor turret includes a square hatch on each side that opens to the rear and twin doors in the turret. The commander is seated on the turret's right side, with a 360-degree rotating cupola, a single-piece hatch cover that opens to the rear, and an M27 day periscope. On the front of the cupola is a pintle-mounted 50-cal M2 heavy barrel machine gun. The gunner is seated on the turret's left side, with a single-piece square hatch cover that opens to the right. Ammunition is resupplied through the twin doors at the rear of the turret. A large spade is mounted at the back of the hull on each side of the hull door and is manually lowered to the ground before firing. They're usually only used when firing the most powerful charges. On either side of the torsion bar suspension, there are seven dual rubber tired rolled wheels, with the drive sprocket in front and the idler in the back. No track return rollers are present. Single pin, center guide tracks with replaceable rubber pads are used. The classic M109 has night vision equipment, but no protection against nuclear, biological, or chemical NBC warfare. An amphibious kit consisting of nine airbags, four on each side of the hull and one in the front, can be installed on the vehicle. The bags are inflated by the vehicle, which can travel at a maximum speed of 4 miles per hour over rivers on its tracks. The main weapon is a 155mm M126 howitzer with a fume extractor and huge muzzle brake mounted on an M127 platform. The recoil system is hydro-pneumatic, with a valent step-threaded breech block. Hydraulic controls for gun elevation and depression, as well as turret traverse, are available for emergency usage. An elbow telescope, M118C, for direct fire with a magnification of 4 times and a 10 degree field of view. A panorama telescope, M117, for indirect fire, and a gunner's quadrant, M1A1, are among the fire control equipment. 
The M109 Paladin self-propelled howitzer, which was first constructed in 1963 and has been modified multiple times over the previous 40 years, is currently undergoing a major overhaul. Many Bradley fighting vehicle components are shared by the M109 PIM update, providing for greater compatibility with other Army vehicle systems and optimizing production savings, parts inventory, and maintenance manpower while maximizing component obsolescence. The PIM modernization program is a major update of the M109 86, Paladin that comprises reclaiming space, weight, and power. Cooling. The PIM will have a new chassis, engine, transmission, suspension, and steering system, as well as an updated electric ramming system, while the self-propelled howitzer's weapon will stay unmodified. Over the years, a slew of M109 variations have been produced. The M109A1 was the first of these variations to be introduced in 1970 and delivered in 1973. A new main gun, the M185, was added allowing for increased range and the use of laser-guided ammunition, as well as a more efficient muzzle brake, enhanced loading assist system, and upgraded suspension. The M109A2, which had additional ammunition storage and a better gun mount, was introduced in 1978, whereas the M109A3 was the name given to M109A1s that had been modified to M109A2 standard. The M109A4 featured NBC protection, while the M109A5 introduced the upgraded M284 cannon with an enhanced range. An M109A5 Plus version with an updated fire control system was also introduced. The M109A6 Paladin can fire up to 8 rounds per minute, on 3 rounds every 15 seconds, with a sustained rate of 1 round every 3 minutes. The gun is controlled by an automatic firing control system that includes a ballistic computer and an optical backup. The 155mm M284 cannon, which is mounted on an M182 gun platform, has a range of 24km with unassisted rounds and 30km with assisted rounds. The full-stroke hydraulic system or a semi-automatic loading system can be used to load projectiles. The automatic firing control system is connected with the vehicle's inertial positioning and navigation system. On the right-hand side of the turret is a 12.7mm M2 machine gun. Throughout the mission, the crew remains in the vehicle. Individual crew protection systems, including temperature-controlled air, are installed to guard against nuclear, chemical, and biological warfare. For added ballistic protection, the turret is lined with Kevlar spall suppression lining. The VIC intercom, VRC-89 or SINC-GARS single-channel ground and aerial radio subsystem are all included in the Paladin Howitzer's secure voice and digital communications suites. The M109A6 Paladin is powered by a Detroit Diesel Corporation two-cycle diesel engine with 440 horsepower and an Ellison ATD XTG 4114 transmission with four forward and two reverse speeds. High-strength torsion bars and high-capacity shock absorbers from the basis of the suspension system. The car has a range of 214 miles and a top speed of 40 miles per hour. The US Army and BAE systems have signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU, for the Paladin Integrated Management PIM program, which will improve the Paladin. The space, weight, power, cooling, main armaments, and cab construction are all retained, but the chassis is replaced with a Bradley Common chassis. The engine and transmission were replaced with a Cummins 600 horsepower diesel engine and an L3 HMPC 500 automatic transmission both of which were also used in the Bradley fighting vehicle. Suspension and steering have been improved, as well as survivability. It has a modern automated loader, electric gun drive, and air conditioning powered by BAE systems. Common modular power system in line with future fighting systems, non-line-of-sight cannon, and LOSC CMPS, the Crusader and non-line-of-sight cannon programs developed technology such as a 600-volt onboard power supply and projectile ramming systems which have been upgraded. The state-of-the-art digital and power generation capabilities allow for future payloads and network requirements to be accommodated on the battlefield. To boost the rate of fire and artillery range, the M109A7 is equipped with Extended Range Cannon Artillery ERCA, Precision Guidance Kits with Anti-Jamming Capabilities PGKAJ were also produced by the business and are compatible with a variety of firing systems. The vehicle's old 39 caliber turret were replaced with a 58 caliber 30-foot long gun barrel, thus tripling its firepower. This brings our video to an end. We hope you liked it. If so, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates for our future videos. See you in the next video. Ciao.